Are you a scientist driven by the desire to make breakthrough discoveries? Are you looking for tools that can help you accelerate your research, streamline your workflows, and collaborate more effectively with your team? Then it's time to discover Benchling. So Benchling is a unified platform for modern life science R&D designed to help scientists accelerate their research, collaborate more effectively, and make data-driven decisions. And you can get started for free. So imagine seamlessly managing your experiments, tracking your samples, analyzing your data, and collaborating with your colleagues all in one place. With Benchlink, you can streamline your workflows, reduce errors, and accelerate the phase of discovery. In this video, we'll give you a quick overview of how Benchlink can help you make breakthrough discoveries faster. We'll discuss some of its key features, and we'll show you how easy it is to sign up for a free Benchlink account and start exploring the platform today. So first things first, head over to their website, which is benchling.com. So you can sign up for free or you can also request a demo. So you can click on this request a demo option right here. And then in here, you just fill up the information in order to actually get a demo of this particular platform. So on the sign up page, just head over and input your email or you can also sign up with Google. Just continue doing that and provide the password that you can use. And at from there, you should be able to sign up for a free account on Benchlink. So I'll show you what its dashboard looks like. So here is the Benchlink dashboard. Here we have our projects and on this particular project, we have in here the notebook. We just click onto the project and then from in there, you should be able to see in here the options. Like for example, we have in here this entry. And onto this entry, we can see in here the notes. So you can create a new entry if you want by clicking onto this just plus icon right here. Click onto this right here. Then choose in here entry. You can choose an entry from blank or start on a template. So let's choose in here a blank entry. Then this will load and it will create this one. It's an untitled one. So let's name this results. And then you can just enter in here some text that can actually describe your results. You can edit it however you want. You can insert in here some sub templates, tables, days, well plate, attachment, code blocks, and the likes. So let's see in here a wall plate. So for example, let's choose in here this one. And in here you can see this. So it's like a Google Sheet of a particular template. So you can input in here data based on the that. So you can just type onto this tables or cells that we have right here. So we can also insert a day based on this one. Now just click onto this insert option that we have right around here. And click onto this day. And it should be able to be added onto that particular day. So as you can see, this entry is from Wednesday, this entry is from Thursday, and if you want to add another one for Friday, you can just go over to this blank part and click on insert and then click on day, and we have in here for the Friday entry. So it actually looks like that. So let me show you how to attach a particular sequence. You can just type in here the sequence right here, and as you can see, it will be synced, and it will be added onto that part. You can also click onto this insert option and you can also input in here some registration table, canvas, lookup table, as well as a lot more. You can also add in here a code block or some symbols for this one. So onto this particular entry, we have the notes, but we also have in here the protocol. So we have in here this, you can click on a protocol to add it onto your entry. So for example, we have in here this in vitro transcription. These are just some examples. So if you want, you can also import from a file in order to add it to your entry. You can click onto this particular protocol and you can see that this will look like this. We have the procedure and this will actually what 
it's gonna look like once you're done editing the particular entry that you have. Now in here, we also have the metadata for that particular entry. So in here, you can add some fields or some custom fields depending on your liking. You can click on the this plus icon and then for example, let's name in here this. Let's add in here bacteria. Let's add another one. Let's call it fungi. And you can add a value based on that particular option. You can click on this edit and add in here some value based on that. We also have in here some relevant items. And if you want, you can add those. Now, if you want to actually share the notes that you want or that you have created, you can click on the share option right here. And then you can just turn on the link sharing as well as the description for that. Click on copy right here and then you can send it to a messaging platform in order to share it to people. As of right now, they don't have the people sharing function yet, but they already have the link sharing function. So you can share it via the link. So what's good with Benchlink is you can also create some particular database and also use some of the advanced tools of biology. So you can click on this plus icon or this create icon and we have here this DNA RNA sequence, AA sequence, Lego. We also have CRISPR as well as some mixture options. So for example, we also have more things like templates, folders, and entries. For example, let's choose in here this DNA or RNA sequence. Let's click on this right here. You can just name this particular sequence that you would want. And then input right here, the nucleotide type. It can be a DNA or RNA. Then set the project or the project folder. Let's add it under the example project. And then set the topology. Let's choose linear and the schema that you want. Now input right here the basis. So let's put in here this basis that we have for this particular DNA. You can also import from known databases like BLAST or NCBI. Then after you have done that, you can also upload files, select chromosomal region and the legs. Click on create once you're done with that. And in here, you should be able to see that under this example project. Now in here, you can also try to split your workplace to see a plasmid map so this is what we're looking to do so we have in here our sequence and we have in here the sequence for the plasmid map so you can click on the split workcase and it's what it's gonna look like right here so as you can see it's really powerful since you can already code a particular dna or rna sequence to this one and you can see the map for that already Another thing that's good with Benchling is they have a molecular biology project. So this is an example for that. We have in here the sequence map and we can see the linear map for that. We can see the plasmid, the description, as well as the metadata for that. So you can see everything in one glance using this one and you can actually edit it according to your liking. You can create another sequence just like this import from a database and the likes so it's actually really easy since it gives you all the pre-dub with just a few clicks you will already have your result so that's all in it for today you can sign up for your free benchling account and start transforming your research workflow if you found this video helpful please give it a thumbs up and share it with your network subscribe to our channel for more insight on scientific research and technology what are your biggest challenges in managing research data and workflows? Share your thoughts in the comment below. Thank you so much for watching.